Kairos WWE News and Rumors has showing you another video and guys this video is gonna be very very similar to the video that we just saw um about Dean Ambrose and Dolph Ziggler this is basically the same thing but to Finn Balor okay guys let's get right into it until the latter part of Monday evening the match at SummerSlam was set to be Rollins versus Roman Reigns as I reported before on Kairos WWE News and Rumors right here on YouTube but something made Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon call an audible at the last minute. WWE wanted flexibility with Balor's debut and they had it and the rocket pack has been strapped around his waist. What does it mean for WWE? It appears that at least initially, Vince McMahon had planned on slotting Roman Reigns right back into the top babyface spot on Raw, which would be a questionable decision given Reigns' recent suspension and the less than favourable crowd reaction than he still continues to receive. But the audible and switch to Finn Balor was the right call. The WWE's brand split is supposed to be a new era, one which sees fresh superstars get bigger and better opportunities, which in turn will lead to a refreshed and reinvigorated product. Balor is the appetite of the type of superstars WWE should be pushing in the future because he's incredible in the ring, has a ton of charisma and perhaps most importantly is beloved by the fans, like I said before, which is Dolph Ziggler. Judging by the tremendous reaction Balor received from the live crowd upon his raw debut, he should be in Reigns' spot going forward while Reigns slides down to the number 2 babyface spot or uses his slip down the car to finally turn heel, which I don't think he is though. So. Rick Flair says Finn Balor will never main event WrestleMania though, that's in his opinion. And he said that that's reported on um Ringside News. So who is best behind the pushes of Finn Balor and Dolph Ziggler? Um it looks as if Triple H and Vince McMahon is behind the push of Finn Balor. And um they want Finn Balor and Dolph Ziggler to take CM Punk and Daniel Bryan's place. So they'll be pushing Finn Balor on Raw and pushing Dolph Ziggler on SmackDown, guys. So this is a very, very big match on Smack on um, SummerSlam. It's like a dream match, people are saying. The Demon, I think he'll come out the Demon as well. The Demon, Finn Balor versus the guy, I'm sorry, the man, the architect. Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship. Guys, I posted a video about an hour ago saying the leaked photos of the Universal Championship. Check that out. I will put it in the card description. It will pop up at the top right of the video, guys. So don't worry about that. I think right now, and then into Raw, but we don't know. My prediction may change. I will do a prediction as well on the same night of SummerSlam. Right now, I think Seth Rollins will be winning the WWE Universal Championship. That's my opinion. Comment who you think should win and who you want to win the WWE Universal Championship. Thank you for watching. Make sure to share this video, like, comment, and subscribe.